Welcome back to Let's Talk About It, the show where we explore the legendary aircraft featured in Digital Combat Simulator and War Thunder. I am your host, Guzzi, and today, we're talking about a true battlefield legend from the flaming cliffs back. The A-10 Warthog. The A-10A, affectionately known as the Warthog, was developed by Fairchild Republic in the early 1970s. It was designed specifically for close air support missions, with a focus on attacking ground targets, especially tanks and armored vehicles. The Warthog has proven its worth in conflicts from Desert Storm to Operation Enduring Freedom. Its unique design, including the iconic GAU-8 Avenger 30mm cannon, makes it one of the most feared aircraft by ground forces. In DCS, the A-10A brings all this firepower to the virtual battlefield. Whether you're taking out tanks or providing close air support, this aircraft is all about getting the job done with brute force and precision. So what makes the A-10A stand out in DCS? For starters, the Worthig's cockpit is a blend of analog and early digital systems making it accessible yet challenging. Unlike its more advanced sibling, the A-10C is more straightforward, relying on your flying skills and understanding of weapon systems to be effective. Of course, we can't talk about the A-10A without mentioning the GAU-8 Avenger cannon. This 30mm beast can fire over 3,900 rounds per minute. The Warthog also carries a variety of munitions, from AGM-65 Mavericks to cluster bombs, making it a versatile platform for taking out a wide range of ground targets. One of the most satisfying aspects of flying the A-10A in DCS is getting up close and personal with the battlefield. The Warthog's rugged design and ability to take hits and keep flying mean you can dive into the action, deal serious damage, and get out in one piece. Now let's dive into some fun facts and tips for flying the Warthog in DCS. Did you know that it was specifically designed to fly low and slow, giving pilots more time to identify and engage ground targets? This low speed capability makes it perfect for strafing runs and precision attacks in DCS. Here's a tip. When flying the Warthog, make sure to use its agility at low speeds to your advantage. The Warthog can turn on a dime, making it ideal for avoiding ground fire and setting up for another pass. Also remember that the Warthog is built to take damage, so don't be afraid to push it to the limit when you're in the thick of battle. And if you take a few hits, no worries, the A-10A is as tough as they come. Just remember, a damaged Warthog can still bring the thunder. So why should you try the Warthog in DCS? If you love ground-pounding action, this aircraft is an absolute must. The combination of heavy firepower, rugged durability, and straightforward systems makes the A-10A a joy to fly, especially if you are into close air support mission. Whether you are destroying convoys, supporting ground troops, or just enjoying the thrill of low-altitude flight, the Warthog delivers an unmatched experience in DCS. That's it for this episode of Let's Talk About It. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to catch the next episode. We're covering more legendary aircraft from the Flaming Cliffs pack, so drop a comment below with your suggestions. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep those wings level and happy flying. Goozy out.